Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about a data pipeline. Keep watching to know how it helps companies to avoid data processing mistakes. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. What is meant by a data pipeline? Well, it is a series of tools and actions for organizing and transferring the data to different storage and analysis systems. It automates the ETL process, extraction, transformation, load. As a data pipeline example, you can collect information about your customer's devices, location, and session duration and track their purchases and interaction with your brand's customer service. And how does a data pipeline work? The raw, unstructured data is located at the beginning of the pipeline. Then it passes a series of steps, and each of them transforms the data. Watch further to review these steps in more detail. Step 1 is collecting the data. At this stage, the system gathers the data from thousands of sources, such as databases, APIs, cloud sources, and social media. Step 2 is extraction. After the raw data is collected, the system starts reading each piece of data using the data source's API. And after the data is extracted, it goes through processing. If the sets of records are extracted and counted as one group, batch processing is applied. Real-time processing passes individual records as soon as they are created or recognized. Well, by default, the companies use batch processing since it is easier and cheaper. Step 3 is transformation and standardization. Now, you need to adjust the structure or format of the data. Among the most common types of transformation are basic transformations, in which only the appearance and format of the data is affected, without severe content changes, and advanced transformations, in which the content and the relationship between datasets are changed. Step 4 is destination, and this is the final point where the clean data is transferred. Further, they can go to data warehouses while less structured data is stored in data lakes. Step 5 is monitoring. To ensure that the data is accurate, the engineers continuously check the pipeline data by monitoring, logging, and alerting the code. And what do you think? Which of these transforming data steps is considered the most important one? Drop a comment. You might have heard of AWS Data Pipeline. What is it? AWS Data Pipeline is a web service allowing data processing and moving it between different computing services, AWS storage, and local data sources. It helps to easily create complex data processing pipeline operations and guarantee their fault tolerance and high availability. By the way, check out the full guide to AWS monitoring we have prepared. The link is in the description. Data Pipeline is widely used for machine learning. The pipelines are used to automate the training workflow and to prepare the data for training. We are excited to share Jelvix's six simple steps of how to build a data pipeline in machine learning. So, step one is data collection. Step two is data preparation. Step three is splitting the data into test set, training set, and validation set. Step four is training the model. Step five is testing and validating the model. And step six is deployment and then you iterate. Let's now review the list of tools for building ML pipelines. We use Google ML Kit, deploy the models in the mobile application via API, Amazon SageMaker, an MLAS platform for conducting the full cycle of preparing, training, and deploying a model, TensorFlow, an open source machine learning framework developed by Google with robust integration with Keras API. For general operations with data pipelines, we at Jalvix use the following tools. For ETL, data preparation, and data integration tools, we use AWS Glue, Informatica Power Center, Apache Spark, Tailend Open Studio. Data warehouse tools to use are Amazon Redshift, Snowflake, Oracle. Data Lakes tools are offered by such providers as Microsoft Azure, IBM, and AWS. Batch schedulers we recommend are Airflow, Luigi, Uzi, or Azkaban. And finally, stream processing tools we use are Apache Spark, Flink, Storm, Kafka, and Amazon Kinesis. 
Drop a comment if you'd like any of these tools to be reviewed on our channel. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our own experience on this channel, so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.